Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and today we are finally going to be going to the Three Lakes, as in the last episode, we gotten kicked out of Jubilee Village after seeing that the entire sky is now red and apocalyptic looking. The giant rift on Mount Cornet has gotten a lot bigger and a lot more dangerous. And now we're going to decide who to pick between Arida and Adamant. And uh, I forgot to make a poll of this on uh, YouTube. And uh, what I did instead was poll a bunch of Discord servers that I was in with some close friends and acquaintances. And surprisingly, I was not expecting this result, but Adamant took it by a long shot. I think I've only seen one vote the last time I checked for Arida. Uh, across all of them, like, all of them were just voting Adamant, so, yeah, uh, we're gonna be picking Adamant here. You obviously choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica food in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. I actually do want to see what, uh, Arida says, though. Of course you'll choose me, I'm the one who got you to, who, who, ugh. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleavor, you and I made bombs together. So, yeah, Adamant won the popular vote, so we are picking Adamant. Thought so, you can count on me. Now, this doesn't really affect anything, it's just, you know, uh, picking, uh, the, we'll see what will happen, but it doesn't really, like, change the ending or anything, it doesn't really affect anything majorly, but you'll see what will happen. So then, the leftover leader will... Leftover? I'm not someone scraps. Oh, keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to go to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui's region's three great lakes to visit first. Right, and we'd better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever you decide. To, we decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we were seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adamant. Don't cause Akari more trouble. Trial of Lake Verity, Trial of Lake Valor, and Trial of Lake Acuity. So, let us uh, first see what Volo could give us. Uh, he does have quite a few things. Get a few great balls. Oh, I just realized max potions are finally a thing we could get. Uh, I want to stock up on some hyper potions just in case. Uh, there are some full heals now, which is pretty good. We have plenty of those, and I'll get a few max potions, like two, just in case. All right, and I will sell a few things. There's a few things we need to sell, obviously. Uh, we've been keeping it way too long in our bet our uh, inventory. Uh, oh, I thought we had more things to sell. Well, and I guess before that, I would like to reveal that our nickname. Shoutouts to Omega on Discord. I will link uh, either a, a Twitter or something down below. But came up with the nickname for our Sligu Dollop. Yeah, that's one big dollop right there. <laughs> it is gooey, and, you know, I just thought it fit, it fit nicely. And also, I guess you could make, like, this, this shell that it has a little cone. I mean, it technically does swirl around. Uh, I don't know, cones don't... Cone, actually, cones kind of do swirl, depending on the snail. Uh, but yeah, we have our full team nicknamed. And, yeah, we are going to be heading out. And unfortunately, I don't think dollop is going to evolve... Uh, cause there is no rain, so that's pretty unfortunate. Unless we find the only other Pokemon we could evolve right now is Azure, if we find uh, its evolutionary item. Before we do go out, I do want to check if any of these guys have any moves we could give them. Virtually no here. Just gonna check one last time before we head out. I was accidentally about to click change name. Uh, play rough. Unfortunately, your attack isn't that good. Uh, let's see, moves over here. High horsepower. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to consider this. Uh, 
Over fire punch, actually. Yeah, over fire punch for now. There we go. Nice. All right, we're going to be considering that for now. Uh, Olivia, let's see here. Yeah, perfectly fine the way it is. I think this is her. This is going to be her definitive move set. All right, we got. Let's see anything new here. We got Dark Pulse. Uh, I think we're good this way for now. We could replace Slash. Well, well Psycho Cut with Slash. I do want to keep Psycho Cut just for the coverage. Uh, we could go back to. Uh, Oh wow, X Scissor is way more powerful. Hmm, I'm trying to think here. Based on the scenarios that we're gonna have to deal with, I think we're gonna actually go with X Scissor here. Yeah, I'll explain why as we'll we'll go on. But there are some uh, later on things that we do need to deal with, so we're gonna switch back to that. And lastly, Nell Word. Uh, I think this is fine for now. Nellwood and Dollop are definitely going to get more useful later. But anyways, let us head out. Where we headed first, we got three of them to go to. Uh, let's actually go to the Trial of Lake Verity first. I mean, we're already here by the camps. Uh, well, we were there beforehand, so let's go. So yeah, I'm sorry that it, this took a while to really do. Sorry uh, for the cut there. I thought something was going on with my recording. Apparently not. Uh... We could return to the to the retreat any time. Uh, there is a galaxy team member uh, that will allow us to stop to rest, uh, thankfully, and also to shop. So yeah, we're back out here. Uh, interestingly enough, I think I actually did find a shiny when, I, when this was happening. I think I actually do have the footage somewhere on my Twitter. I probably would need to find it though. So anyways, we have never been here on this side. So let's actually go over there. We have barely covered that part, and there is a lot to uncover as we head here. Oh boy. So yeah, right here. We did go through it a little bit, but not necessarily. So yeah, there's a, a Alpha Snorlax right there. One of the more dangerous Alphas that you could have ran into early on. But we, I'm surprised I actually didn't really come here uh, earlier. Let's help you out. We're in Sanjim Flats now. So yeah, this is where Sanjim Town would be in the future. Uh, I just love that they, these places already have like their names and like they're already settled. So like these were already like hundreds of years past. Bunch of Abra. Uh, I'm not even sure if we've ever caught Abra before. Obviously, this place could have been uh, covered way earlier on. Because, uh... Oh, we never caught one, okay. Uh, we could have easily have went through this place earlier on, but we never did. Uh, so yeah, now that we're here, we could actually cover it properly. Uh with, like, descriptions and everything. Not descriptions, but my bios and everything. Uh, yeah, you could have actually encountered Luxury way earlier, now that I've, uh, noticed it. So, yeah. Oh my god, there's an Alpha Alakazam over there, and, oh! Don't think I have forgotten about you. Got ourselves a Wisp here, and there's 18... Wow, I'm surprised that we barely collected these things here. Uh, I think we've already gotten a mine junior. Yeah, just in case. To increase that research level. Because we are going to need everybody at an increased re research level at some point. Alright. This is old Mr. Mime here as well. You guys are wondering why I'm leaving the volume on so high. It's also because I don't want to end up uh, having to do... Uh, well, uh, oh my god. I can't believe I forgot what I was going to say. I don't want to end up having to deal. Wait, what was I going to say? Oh my god. Uh, I forgot it. Uh. 
Anyways, I think it's just best to move on. Uh, have we ever caught a Kadabra, though? Yes, we have, actually, surprisingly. Alright, let us head forth towards Lake Verity. Here we go. The first of the three lakes, we've only seen glimpses of them. We've not necessarily ever been to them before. Uh, there's actually some, like, Luxray and Star Starly and Staravia that could be found around here. The waters themselves, I believe... Yeah, they have some Gyarados in here. I, yeah, that does make a callback to... Uh, if you guys know the Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum game, like, Gen 4 games in general, uh, on the news uh, for Diamond, Pearl, and Brilliant Diamond, and Shining Pearl specifically, you can find the... Uh, on the news in the intro of the game that there's sightings of a uh, red Gyarados which is uh, from Johto they say this lake actually used to be a volcano and it erupted leaving a huge crater that filled with water and so Lake Verity was born it is protected by a Pokemon called Mesperit it was when Mesperit took flight that people first learn the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how old the tale go, tales go anyway. Our phone is beeping. Power of technology has opened a hole in it. Th that cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that arc phone the professor was going on about? Let's do this, Akari. Mistress Kagita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Alright, let's see what challenges await us. We got ourselves a lake here. Uh, I guess the cave in, in the middle of the lake. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing, Akari. Prove to the Pokemon of the lake how strong you are. Alright. So we have some battles to go through, and these alpha Pokemon are definitely going to be uh, our challenge here. And we got an alpha Gudra to start us off here. So Dollop is going to be taking on its elder brother, or sister, Okay, thank you. I was correcting myself before I even saw the gender. Alright. Here we go. Uh, luckily, the level difference isn't huge or anything, so we're perfectly fine here. Let's go for a regular Dragon Pulse. Should do... Wow, okay. Oh my god, that, that, that just shows the power difference. I'm not a big fan of the music in this part, because it's just a little too tense and doesn't necessarily, like... I don't know, does it have that same, like, battle-esque like theme to it? I guess it's like kind of like, you know, it's, it's like a do-or-die scenario. Oh, boy. I'm gonna go for an Agile-style high-power... Uh, uh, high-horsepower. Oh, boy. We're going to have to risk it for the biscuit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We thank God for the... For that. Defensive stats went to normal. Let's finish it. Azure with the clutch. Yes. Wow. Bang barely hang on and luckily we dodged the iron uh, tail right there. And a lo huge level up for him as well. All right. That's the way, Akari. I can tell by the by watching that you and your po the, the Pokemon you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Now let's see about that Pokemon of the lake. Feel a mysterious presence.
there it is. Your emotions, share them with me. It's, I like how not a chance is there. So it speaks from its mind to yours. Makes sense that a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Heartening. What did you feel when you mingled with the Hisui's clans? It's a wide world. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy Team? Life is complicated, unfortunately. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. And with that, we have obtained Mesprit's Plume. Proof that you've completed the trial set up, set up, wait, set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Honestly, really like the Lake Trio. They're just so playful looking. I think they've always been my, some of my favorite uh, legendaries, honestly. I think it might be one of my favorite legendary trios. I can't even imagine what that must feel like, having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. No, we've got two visit, two lakes to visit. Alright, one down, two to go. Not too shabby already. So, without a further ado, let us actually head back. Oh, well, I forgot. We have to see uh, Volo afterwards. Looks like that worked out well, Akari. Gotta admit, you know, you sure know pretty... We pl sure know plenty about Hisui Volo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past, and that led us to this particular present. More accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. I think we'd all like to some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I even got questions about its true nature. Weighty matters to ponder for sure. We, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Miss Kagita's home? Let's head back. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks about our progress. Ah, Mesprit's plume. So, the legend told it true. Then, the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this makes no sense to me. These Pokémon represent our minds, and they'll give us this thing? And it'll let us find the world? And solve all this mess? But how? Why? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it is truly is. I get even less now. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. This They surge us to think more of ourselves, and on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh, and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. 
Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only to a chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. Anyways, I think we're going to end off here. Uh, but yeah, we've gotten Mesprit's Plume. We got ourselves a set destination. I'm sorry if this episode is ending a little bit earlier than usual. But hey, who doesn't mind a shorter episode? But next time on Pokemon Legends Arceus, we are going to see the other two trials. Or at least see one of them. At least. But we'll try to see the both of them. The rest of them. More and more human voices echo throughout Hisui, the growth of your galaxy team. Oh, with the growth of your galaxy team. But anyways, we shall see you guys then.